so Monster is following around Victor Frankenstein and you see him create his creature and the creature come alive and just kind of wreak havoc on the town that Victor is from. Um, and you see all the different plot points of everyone in the show um, come together around this creature and who believes it and who doesn't. In fact, Monster takes, takes Frankenstein and, and takes it a step further. Um, giving us a, a, a clearer ending than the novel left us with. This play uh, uses a lot of puppetry in various different forms. Uh, we have hand puppets, like uh, shadow puppets are a really big part, and shadow imagery um, is going to be used not only to express character, but a lot of the backgrounds and the sets are going to be really fleshed out or that you, uh, using puppet, using shadow imagery, which is really the thing about working with Tom is that he pushes you really, really hard um, to give your best and to put all you have into your character. So even though I have a smaller part, um, she's really dynamic um, and she has a lot of emotional range. And so working with him, working with Tom, he really pushes me um, to get that range. Uh, so this is my second time working with Tom on a show. My first was the musical last year. So it's a much different vibe with Tom from an Irish fun folktale musical to a creepy story about a creature um, but it's definitely the same very like structured rehearsal process and a lot of fun because Tom doesn't get too serious even though it's a very serious show um, and it's just like all the other directors they're very strict but like good at what they do so you feel really comfortable in the show by the end. Now, working with the director Tom Martin has been Wonderful. I I love working with Tom. He is someone who who knows how to speak in metaphors that kind of just speak to me personally as an actor. That I can just kind of he'll give me a note and he'll say it in some weird, convoluted way, and I'll just be like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense." He he kind of knows how to speak in my terms, which is something I really appreciate. But specifically about this part part of the creature, um, we really have been focusing on the kind of childlike nature that the creature has at first when he's first brought into the world and how he's kind of starting at, at zero and has to learn so much. He has to learn how to speak, he has to learn how to move, he has to learn how to communicate his desires and his wants. And because if he doesn't, he's just gonna, he's gonna die, he's gonna be left on the wayside. So he's kind of had to forge his own path and it's kind of interesting to see someone go about doing that, see the struggle. 